What's up guys, hope y'all are having a great day today. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a complete tutorial on how to build a snapshot using Go High Level. If you don't know what a snapshot is, I'm gonna be showing you what it is and how to create one in this video. But basically a snapshot is an entire template of a sub account inside of your Go High Level account. So inside of a sub account in Go High Level, you can create funnels, websites, automations, calendars, pipelines, all of these different things and you can save them and then you can reuse them for every other sub account that you create. This is perfect for a SaaS or a social media marketing agency when you're wanting to reuse different things that you built out for one client and use them for all the other clients that you get. And so that's why we take snapshots of the account so that we don't have to recreate a sub account every time we get a new client. But please remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep giving you guys more free content just like this video. All right guys, so to create our snapshot, we need to create a brand new sub account inside of our agency account. So right now I'm in my agency account. I'm gonna go over and hit create sub account. And the reason we're creating a new sub account is so that we can build out our snapshot that we're gonna copy and paste into other sub accounts. And so we need a brand new sub account in order to do that. And so for this account, I'm going to make it a regular account. It's not gonna be a SaaS account because it's not gonna be used by one of my clients. This is just gonna be a regular account that I use to create my snapshot. So I'm gonna select regular account here and I'm gonna go over to blank snapshot and hit select and continue. It's gonna ask me to type in an address for this. I'm just gonna type in like 123 Elm Street or something like that. I'm, I'm literally just picking a random address here and I'm gonna continue. And then I'm gonna fill out all of this account info. I'm just gonna use dummy info because this is just gonna be a dummy account or like a demo account that I'm using to build out my snapshot. And so once you fill in all this info here, you're gonna hit save. We can go up to switch to sub account right here and it'll take us into our sub account that we just created. Now that we're inside of our sub account, there are a few main key things that we need to customize for our clients that we wanna have built out for them ready to go. You'll typically create a snapshot based on a specific niche. So for example, we might create a real estate agent snapshot that we can use for all of our real estate agent clients in our SaaS or SMMA agency. And then we also might have a plumber snapshot for the plumber clients that we get or we might have a med spa snapshot. We can have snapshots for a bunch of different industries and a bunch of different niches. The reason that we do that is because the automations, the websites, the pipelines, the different things that we're customizing are gonna be different depending on the niche that we sell to. And so if you plan on selling your services to multiple different niches, you're gonna to need to repeat this process and create a new sub account and a new snapshot for every niche that you plan on selling to. So here on the screen, I have listed all of the things that we're gonna to need to customize inside of our snapshot. The first is gonna be calendars, the second pipeline, third email templates, fourth automations, fifth website slash funnel, and then sixth forms slash surveys. These are the six main things that we need to customize for our clients so that when they log into their sub account, it is ready to go and start rolling for them. So first we're gonna jump in over here to calendars. Once we're in our calendars tab, we're gonna go up to calendar settings and this is where we can create our first calendar. I'm gonna go down to where it says new calendar and we can pick the type of calendar that we wanna use for this type of business or this niche. I would say for the most part, a business owner is going to use an unassigned booking calendar right here. But if you're working in a niche or an industry that usually has a big team of people that are making sales for the company, you could do a round robin booking and this will equally distribute the appointments among the sales reps of the company. Or if you're working in an industry like yoga or fitness where they're doing big group fitness classes, you could do a class booking. But for this example, we're just gonna do an unassigned booking calendar. And then we're gonna walk through the steps of creating this calendar. And so first we're gonna name the calendar. For this example, I'm gonna build a snapshot based on real estate agents. And so for this one, we're gonna name this like realtor calendar. And then the description we can leave out. That doesn't matter too much. The calendar URL, we could do like realtor booking calendar and uh, as long as it's not taken by another agency owner using go high level then you're good to go there and then we could always add a logo to the calendar if we wanted but that's not necessarily needed and then we're just going to do neo contact name for the appointment title for the meeting location if it's over zoom or a phone call you could just type in the zoom link right here or the phone number that you're going to be calling from whatever you want there so for me i'm just going to put in my number here and uh, call that good. Let's assume that it's just a phone appointment with the prospect or the lead. And then you can pick your color and then you can do two way syncing. If you have like a Google calendar or an outlook calendar, you can connect that right here and do like two way syncing. 
and then we're gonna hit save and continue. And then we're gonna pick the availability for this one. I'm just gonna leave everything the same and hit save and continue. And then lastly, we can choose our confirmation settings of the appointment once it's been booked. And I'm just gonna leave all this the same and hit complete. And so now we have our realtor calendar set up with 30 minute slot durations. And our realtor client can now use this calendar in the calendars tab right here to book all of their appointments. For some snapshots with certain industries and niches, you may need to build multiple calendars. A realtor might be one that you have two different calendars for. You might have one calendar for all of their clients that are looking to sell homes. And then you might have one calendar for all their clients that are looking to buy homes. And so you can separate the two parts of the business with separate separate calendars. But for this example, for time's sake, I'm just going to create the one calendar. The next tab that we're going to jump down to and customize as part of our snapshot setup is the opportunities tab where we can set up our pipeline. So we're just going to go up to where it says pipelines right here, and then we're going to create new pipeline. We're going to name this one the realtor pipeline. And then we can create our stages in the pipeline. So this is one that you need to do a little bit of homework on the industry that you're selling to. You need to know the basic stages that their leads are going to flow through as part of the sales process of that industry. So for real estate agents, the first stage might be like new lead. And then I'll add another stage. Then the next stage might be a booked appointment. And then the next stage might be like follow up. And then the final stage might be like home sold slash bought, depending on if they're selling a home or buying a home. Once you've created the stages of your pipeline, you can click save and then we'll see our pipeline right here. We can always go and edit this if our client wants to change those stages or they can edit it themselves. And then we can jump back to opportunities and then we can see our pipeline and the different stages of it. We want to have this set up for our clients so that they don't have to go in and create the pipeline themselves. We kind of want to have it perfected for the industry that we're selling to so that we look like an expert with the software and, and we know their industry like the back of our hands. Depending on the industry you sell to, you may need multiple pipelines. For my example here with realtors, I may need to create two pipelines, one for all of their buying clients and then one for all of their selling clients so they can keep track of their leads and their clients separately depending on if they're looking to buy or sell a home. But for this example, I'm just gonna keep it to the one pipeline and so that I don't make this video crazy long for you guys. The next place we're gonna go and customize things for our snapshot is under the marketing tab right here. And then we're gonna go under email and then email templates. It's always a good idea to give your clients email templates that they can use for their email marketing and have those ready to go for them. And so the way that you'll do that is you'll go in right here and click new. And the cool thing about this is you don't actually have to create the emails from scratch if you don't want to. You can choose from the email marketing template library inside of Go High Level where we can choose from a bunch of really nice looking templates that we can use for emails. And so I'm just gonna type in right here like real estate and I can see right here that there's a bunch of email templates for real estate. And so I'm just gonna select a few of them and I'm gonna preview this real quick. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit continue and then I'm gonna select this and get this template. And so now we can see our first email template is right here. We can leave this here for our clients. They can go in and edit it, put their own logo on it, change the text to say whatever they wanna say. We don't necessarily have to do that for them unless you wanna go the extra mile, you can. But I'm just gonna go through a couple more times and select a few more templates that this real estate agent can use for their marketing. I just wanna equip them with five or six different templates that they can use for their marketing so that they don't have to create their email templates from scratch. All right, so now you can see that I added six different templates right here that these realtors can use for their email marketing. So I would say that's good. You can always add more if you want or you can customize them a little bit better if you'd like. But the Go High Level website templates look super good, so I did not edit them. Go High Level just released a new update where you can actually show your clients this template library right here with all of the email templates. You can do the same thing with the website and the funnel templates. Um, and you can actually show those to your clients and they can pick from them themselves. For my SaaS business and my social media marketing agency, I don't like to show my clients all of those templates. I wanna make them feel like I did the work and put in the work to create those templates for them. And so I turn that feature off where they can't see this template library right here. They can only see these three options and not this one right here. Now that we've set up some email templates for our clients as part of this snapshot, we can move down to the automation section right here. And this is where the money is made. This is the main part of the software that you're gonna to wanna to customize for your clients. I can't build out all the automations in this video. It would take way too long, but I use about 10 different automations for all my real estate agent clients. A few examples of some automations that you might wanna build out for your clients are ones for appointment booking. So anytime somebody books an appointment on that real estate agent's calendar, we have automated text or emails that send out to that client or lead reminding them about the appointment. That's one automation you could do. You could have a follow-up automation for anybody who meets with that 
that business owner but doesn't purchase their products or services right away. You can have some sort of follow-up text or emails that go out to that potential client asking them if they've made a decision or if they wanted to meet again and talk more about the products or services. You could also build out an automation that has a slow email drip, maybe like a weekly email that sends out to the database of leads that this business has and just keep them informed about the different products and services that this business offers. There's a ton of different automations you can build out here. I'll show you real quick all the ones that I use for my real estate agent snapshot. These are all the ones that I use and they're pretty self-explanatory. So one for appointment booking, one for closed deal. So after the realtor has either bought or sold the house with the client, we have a follow-up that will send them a review request. I'm connected with lender. So if somebody's buying a house and they need to get financing, we have an automation that will automatically connect them with the mortgage lender um, from Facebook to booked call. So this is if the realtor is wanting to run Facebook ads, we have an automation built out that will automatically follow up with that realtor's leads and get them to book appointments right on the realtor's calendar. Um, we have got a new lead manually added. So if the realtor goes in to the contacts tab and adds in a lead manually, we have an automation that follows up with those leads. Um, not qualified bad leads. So if one of their leads is not qualified, we have an automation that works off of that. And then we have automations that reach out in one month, two month, or three months if the person isn't quite ready to buy or sell their home. Once you've built out all of your automations, we can go down to the sites tab here. This is another place where we wanna have some things set up for our clients in the snapshot that we give them. And so the first one would be a few funnel templates. If this business wants to use some different funnels for their marketing, we can set those up and have those ready for them right here. So the way we'll do that is we'll go into new funnel right here and we can just go to the template library. We don't wanna let our clients know that we just pulled these from a template library. We wanna make them think that we actually built them out and customized them and went the extra mile. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna type in real estate and there's gonna be a bunch of real estate templates that I can use. I like this one right here. So I'm gonna select it and continue and I get this template. And so now that this real estate seller funnel template is in here, maybe we also wanna do a buyer funnel template. And so we're gonna to go to add new funnel again and the template library, and then we're gonna type in real estate again. And maybe there's a buyer template in here somewhere. If not, it's not looking like there's one in here. I'm just gonna select this real estate design one right here, and then I'm gonna hit continue and get this template. All right, so now you can see we've got two different templates in our funnels here. That should be enough. If you wanted to add more, you always could, but two seems to be plenty enough. And then we can go into the websites tab here and do the same thing for websites. We're just gonna go into the website templates and choose two different websites that we can throw in here. The realtors can use them if they want. If they don't want, that's okay. It might be a good idea to give them an option of one of these link tree templates right here. So I'm just gonna select this realtor link tree template and then I'm gonna look at it. So it just has a couple links that the realtor can add and a video they can add in here. So I'm gonna take this template and use this one. So we've got that link tree template. Now I'm gonna actually go in and choose a template of like a full blown website. And so I'm just gonna type in like real estate here. And uh, there's actually some like full websites on like real estate type stuff. And so I'm just gonna go in and maybe grab like this one right here. And uh, I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna select this one. All right, so now we've got two websites for them that they can use, that's great. Next, we're gonna jump over to forms right here and we're gonna go to the form builder. This is another great thing for your clients to have forms already built out for them. They can send these forms to people, they can embed them on a website or a funnel, they can put them on emails, just a bunch of different places that they can embed these forms to collect leads for their business. Let's just build out a basic form. These forms could vary depending on your industry, right? But for this one, we're just gonna do a form that asks for like first name, last name, email, and then phone number. And then we're gonna have a button at the bottom of this form. And we're gonna rename this button to say submit. And we could ask other questions like the city that they live in or their address. Address might be important for a real estate agent because if they wanna help somebody sell a home, they'll need to know the address of that home so they can check it out, see how much it's worth and a bunch of other things like that. And so maybe we just have our form like this and then we'll go up to options here and we'll just name this form like basic realtor form and then we will save the form. Like the name, this one is a very basic form but you could also create multiple forms for your niche. Two forms that I might create for realtors is like a buying form and a selling form. One for if somebody's looking to sell their home, one for if somebody's looking to buy their home. And I might put custom questions based on like, hey, when are you looking to buy? When are you looking to sell? You can add in custom questions like that by going up to custom fields and adding in different custom fields 
on your forms for the industry or niche that you're planning on selling to. Another one similar to forms, but more of a questionnaire style is a survey. And you can also build out surveys for your clients and put those in the snapshot that you're gonna be giving to them in their account. And so we can do the same thing by adding a survey here. And then we can go in and we can add different questions. Um, for a survey, you might have more custom questions than a form does. And so we can create a bunch of different custom fields to add to this form. And then you can create different pages. So you can have like multiple slides each slide represents one question and maybe it has a multiple choice answer that that person can select from and it'll take them through all of the slides as they select the answers and then at the very end of your survey you might collect somebody's like full name email and phone in order to submit the form on a survey we don't need to add a button at the bottom like we do on a form it'll automatically have a submit button at the bottom and so once you built that form out you can save that. You can have that right inside of the account for this business owner. And that's your entire snapshot. Those are all the things that you need to customize inside of a sub account to have ready to go for these businesses that you sell your software or your social media marketing agency services to. Just to review them one more time, we have calendars that we need to set up. We've got the pipeline or multiple pipelines. We have email templates. Uh, we have automations and we've got websites and funnels, and then we have forms and surveys. So those are the things that we need to set up and have ready for our clients as part of the snapshot. Once you've built out everything inside of this sub account ready to go for your clients, you can then go to your agency view and we can actually take the snapshot of what we just built out. We'll do that by going down to our settings inside of our agency view and then we will go up to the snapshot tab and then we'll go up to the top right, create new snapshot. And then we will go in and we'll name this snapshot. For this example, it would be my realtor snapshot. So that's what I'm gonna name this one. And then right here, we can select the sub account that we're taking the snapshot of. So for this one, it was gonna be the demo account snapshot. That's what I named the sub account when I created it as part of this video. And then we're gonna hit save right here. And then boom, there we have it. We've got our realtor snapshot. Um, if we wanna send this snapshot to somebody else, we can go over here and we can click get permanent link and then get link and then we can uh, copy the link and send it to somebody here. Um, if you wanna use this snapshot in a client's sub account, let's say you get a client, you wanna create a new sub account for them inside of your agency. You can go up to create sub account and then you can do a SaaS account if it's for one of your clients. If it's for you personally, it'd be a regular account, but for clients, a SaaS account. And then you can go to own snapshots and then you can select your realtor snapshot that you just saved and then select and continue and create that sub account and it'll import everything from the snapshot that you just built out into the sub account. Well, there you have it guys. If you're looking to create a snapshot, we literally covered everything you need to do inside of this video. The hardest part of creating a snapshot are definitely the automations. I've been using Go High Level for two years now and I've perfected a lot of my automations. And so if you need help building out automations inside of your Go High Level account, I give free one-on-one -on -one help to all of my affiliates. So if you sign up with the 30-day free trial of Go High Level down below, you'll become one of my affiliates and I can give you as much one-on-one -on -one help as you need, building out automations, building out snapshots, literally helping you with whatever you need inside of your SaaS or your social media marketing agency using Go High Level. Also, if you're looking to start a SaaS or a social media marketing agency using Go High Level, you can access my free masterclass down below this video. It goes step-by-step -step on setting up your entire agency using the Go High Level platform. It's the real deal. I spent over 100 hours on it, and so go check that out down below. Thank you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video. I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.